In today's Madden 21 breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down uh, part four of our West Coast uh, free guide for you here on the YouTube channel. Now, those of you that have been subscribed to me know that I used to run the West Coast back in Madden 2011, 2012, 2013. And I absolutely love this formation, um, specifically out of the West Coast playbook. I feel like the West Coast playbook is kind of where I started. So I've been doing this kind of uh, free breakdown for you guys, um, just kind of walking you through kind of a sample or understanding what exactly I do um, in my ebooks. Now, with an ebook, you obviously get everything written up, you get a little bit more depth and a little bit more detail. Um, so just know that. But this is a, a free scheme for my subscribers. So if you've never met me before, my name is Cody and I do Madden 21. Uh, tips and tricks breakdowns right here on YouTube and so if you've never been to my channel before basically we upload a video at 2 o'clock a video at 4 o'clock a video at 6 o'clock and a video at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time every single day breaking down tips and strategies and schemes for how you can improve in Madden NFL 21 and we've gone over so far in our gun bunch scheme we've gone over the mesh post we've gone over deep attack and we've gone over corner strike. Now in today's video, we're gonna be going over verticals. And I feel like verticals this year is kind of a controversial play within the gun bunch scheme. Um, it's been a staple in gun bunch for years, and they've done some things with the gun bunch. Uh, unfortunately, that has, has kind of changed uh, how this works. And so what I wanna do first is I wanna kind of uh, cover mesh post just a little bit about the motion and explain why we do these certain motions and um, and then we'll dive uh, right in here. So mesh post, and this was kind of our base play. And as a general rule, you wanna run your gun bunch to the wide side of the field. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and make sure to do that as well in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. But what you'll notice here is what we talked about with this mesh post play is that we would motion him out, we would motion him in, and then we would motion him back out. And what you'll notice here is this makes this really, really effective. Now. Obviously, with Scotty Miller, unfortunately, you're not going to have the greatest route running. Ideally, that would be Antonio Brown um, with the updated rosters or different things like that. So what I want to show you that we're going to do with verticals is we're going to do kind of the same thing. And what you'll notice with this verticals play, when you motion him out, motion him back in, and then re-motion him back out, you'll see that he is going to be able to be snap thrown um, as he is going to that sideline. Now, verticals is a play that you really... Um, you really want to call against you know specific defenses and understand why it works uh, versus why it wouldn't. Now, in my opinion, I don't honestly like to make any adjustments to this play. I literally just like to call it stock, and the main reason is because that route to LaShawn McCoy will always get open uh, as a block and release. You'll see here he's always going to get open either to the left um, or to the right of the defense, and we'll show you this um, one more time. Now, again, you need more than one read against man, and so... If you wanted to, uh, another thing that you could do, another hot route that you could do that would be effective is to take Mike Evans and just put him on either a comeback or a curl. Um, I actually really like comebacks this year. I think comebacks are kind of underrated. Um, they get really deep separation against a lot of coverages, and they just do really well. Now, again, there's a lot of setups that we can do based off of verticals. But as you see here, that comeback, when he comes back to the line of scrimmage, um, he's going to be very, very uh, wide open against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, what about shaded coverage, right? What if they shade coverage, um, off coverage, something like that? Well, let me take a look at this comeback right here. And what you'll notice against man, the primary read against man is honestly going to be either your route to Chris Godwin. You'll see right here when he cuts to the inside, he's going to get open against man-to-man -man coverage, especially if you have Slotomatic or you have a good route running receiver there. That's going to be something that's going to consistently win. Let me show you that against press man too. Um, so I'm going to show you Chris Godwin's route against press man. Again, this is a route that you're going to really want to develop um, and just get good at throwing this little inside post, little inside cross. And as you can see, it's going to beat man-to-man -man right to the inside. Again, you want to have receivers on your roster that are good route runners. That is the key, in my opinion, to beating man in Madden 21. At least on the current gen, on the next gen, it's not, uh, it's not even that difficult. But what you'll notice is that's you know that's kind of part A of beating man. And then I wanted to show you um, I wanted to show you this running back route and how good of separation it gets. So he he is always going to make the right decision um, within that option route. If it's man coverage, he's going to go one way or the other based off of where the leverage is. If it's zone coverage, he's just going to settle up and sit down in the zone, which I really like that about this play. What you'll notice here again, it's just a block and release, and again he's just going to come out to the outside. And as you can see. Um, it's really, really, really effective. Now, on the left side of the field, again, 
you can do several different things against man to man another option that you could do if you wanted to with mike evans is you could put him on a 10 yard out route the reason the 10 yard out route will work really well for your offense is because it's going to do a really good job of not only getting separation against man you'll see it will get some separation against man to man press but what I think it does a really good job of is it gets really good separation against man-to-man -man shaded coverage over top. So when the defense is shading over the top, this route becomes wide open for your offense. You're able to easily throw this route against shaded coverage over top man-to-man -to -man coverage. The reason that that is significant is because if they're running press coverage on you, I'm just going to show you some press coverage. This vertical route, especially if you have like a fast receiver or a 90-plus deep route running, you'll find that this route will sometimes get over the top. And you can kind of throw this out there. Again, Jair, I know Jair, Jair Alexander is going to make a really, really good play on it. And it's going to be what it is going to be. But let me show you if you flip it. And again, this is primarily if you have like a route running advantage. Um, it's, it's specifically designed for something like that. If you don't have a route running advantage, it's not going to work as good. Uh, but I do want to show this really quickly. So you see this route to Mike Evans. Gets to the sideline. Hard left pass. They click on. And you can kind of aggressive catch that. Especially if you have a burner or a route running guy, which the Bucks really don't have that, which is fine. Um, they don't have that guy uh, until you get to the Antonio Brown type of stuff. But you do have that. That's something that you can kind of depend on uh, against press man. Another thing, if you're worried about press man, that's where I just really, I really like the comeback route. I think the comeback route is so underrated. And uh, what you'll see here on the left side, right when he comes out, see how he gets that little instant win, hard cut to the left side, easy secure catch. Uh, being able to get that so you can run him on an out a comeback or a curl if you're if you're not wanting to run this again standard cover two man is going to be the best defense against verticals so you know you're really going to be calling this once you've started to see a lot of cover three and cover four um, or cover two and primarily what i want to shift to right now is talking about this play as it pertains to beating the cover two defense so for cover two, uh, what we're going to anticipate on that left side is we're going to set up a simple curl um, or a simple comeback, you know, whatever we want to do. Obviously, if it is cover two, you would want him to threaten deep. You'd want him to run off that deep half. Um, so we're just going to leave that on there for now. Again, you can adjust anything you want to Mike Evans. You can do anything you want with him. Uh, we'll show you against cover three some, some reasoning as to why you would put him on a curl or an out. What you'll see here against the cover two defense is this route to Scotty Miller um, is going to is going to pull that deep half. You see how that deep half is going to jet out on that ball. So what that's going to mean for your uh, for your defense, and this is cover two cloud flat. I'm sorry. Um, and, and and most people when they play cover two are going to run some type of cloud flat coverage. What you'll notice right here, you motion this guy out, and you'll see that he's going to get right up over the top of uh, right up and over the top. Um, right right over the top of that so that's gonna work uh, that's gonna work really really well so verticals uh, verticals is gonna be uh, just something very very simple now let me show you one other thing here this is cover three and I want to show you something that you can do obviously I can hit the tight end up the seam right that's something that they're probably going to user but against cover three what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to hit either the tight end right either the tight end or the outside um, the outside uh, release to Scotty Miller on the snap throw. And again, in my opinion, what you want to do with this is you want to get this as far outside as you can. You want to, and I'll show you this against cover four. You want to get this as far outside. So like right out here and then snap. And uh, what you'll see here is this snap throw is going to be wide open. If they're playing um, cover four or cover three, either one of those coverages, it doesn't really matter. Um, let me show you cover three real quick. And we're going to put, uh, we're going to put Scotty Miller on this little, this little route. So again, motion him in, uh, motion him at, back out, and snap it right about here at the numbers. And what you'll see is you can get this ball out there, especially if you're running this to the wide side of the field. So they basically have to run cover two. But the problem with running cover two is it's going to leave this void. Uh, it's going to leave this void right open here from either Gronk or from um, or from Scotty Miller. So what you'll see right here again, this is just simply cover two. Just pass lead that to the right as it gets over that cloud flat, and you're going to be able to beat cover two. So all in all, this is something that's really, really good against zone. It forces your opponent to have to play a certain way. Uh, obviously, on the back side of this, I did want to show this really quickly. This is cover two defense as well. I just want to show you this little fade here on the left side. If you see cover two on that left side, you can hit that as well. So I don't want you to forget about that. 
And then obvi obviously, if everything breaks down in your play, you can easily just simply check down to the back and he's gonna, he is going to curl up. So that is verticals, that's how to run it um, against cover two, cover three, cover four, man coverage as well. But wanted to break that down for you. Now if you guys have not picked up the New England Patriots uh, ebook, you can go ahead and pick that up in the description of this video. There's a link that will take it to you. If you're looking for a sample formation, I have over a one hour sample video that breaks everything down from the A slot offset formation and what you need to know um, as far as that goes. But that does it for the video, guys. We're going to do another video at 6 o'clock today, another video at 8 o'clock, and then we will be live streaming tonight right here on our YouTube channel at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So thank you guys so much for your support. And text me if you have any questions. Like I said, that one-hour video for the New England Guide, you get that for free if you just shoot me a text message and let me know you'd like to receive that. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you in our next video.